What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing Score Bunny from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let's get started in the center of our page and draw that patch that goes above the nose. So we start on the left side, we're gonna draw a curve, going up and then back down. Now from the ends, we're gonna draw two short lines coming down the side. Now we're gonna draw that same curve from left to right along the bottom. Now we're gonna tuck the nose in underneath that patch. In the center, we're gonna step down, start with a point. From this point, I'm gonna curve out and up towards the left, and then the right. Now we're gonna to move to the side and draw on the eyes. So over on the left, we're gonna draw an oval, starting from the very top, curve down towards the bottom, and back up towards the top. Now we're gonna do the same thing over on the right. So let's line this up, curve down towards the bottom of the oval, and then back up. We're gonna draw a small circle at the top of each eye for the highlight. And then along the bottom of the eye, we're gonna draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down for the glare. Let's fill that center area in black. Now let's draw on the top edge of the mouth. Just below the left eye, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna curve up the middle and down on the right side. At the bottom of the nose, we're gonna draw a short line coming down towards the top of the mouth. Now we're gonna connect the ends of the mouth with a curve. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve down and then back up on the right. Now let's add a tooth in the middle. Over on the left side, we're gonna curve down and then back up. Now at the bottom, we're gonna draw in the tongue. Starting over on the left, we're going to curve up and then back down. Now that we completed the face, let's draw on the lower half of the head. So in line with the bottom edge of the eye, we're going to move out towards the side. We're going to curve down underneath the mouth. And we're going to pull that back up on the right side. Now let's add the fur over on the side of the cheeks. Let's start on the left side. Start by going out and we'll bend that up. Now I'm going to curve this up and then back down towards the head. I'm going to stop right about there. Now I'm going to tuck a smaller one in behind. From the end of the line, I'm going to step out, curve out, and then up. And I'm going to pull this in and then back down. Now we're going to round out the top of the head in towards the ears. So on the left side, we're going to curve up. Just going to pull that in to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Curving up and then in. In between these two lines, we're going to step in towards the center. Start with a point. From this point, we're going to draw a short line going up. Now we're going to go all the way up to the top and start with another point. Now we're going to draw the inside edge of the ear. From the middle, we're going to curve up and out towards the left, towards the tip of the ear. Go back to the center and do the same thing over towards the right. From the tip of the ear, we're gonna curve down and then in towards the top of the head. Down and then pull that in. Now over on the right side, we're gonna go about halfway. Come down, I'm just gonna pull that into right about there. And we're gonna overlap this line with some fur. Come in, curve up and then out. I'm just gonna pull this down and in towards the top of the head. Let's draw on the inside of the ear. In between this point and the center, right here we're going to start with a point. And I'm going to follow the curve of the ear going up. Up and out. And I'm going to curve back down and in towards that bottom point. Let's do the same thing over on the right. In between, start with a point. Follow the curve of the ear going all the way up to the top and then down around the outside. Let's add a trim along the tips of the ear. Starting on the left, we're just gonna curve over that tip of the inside of the ear. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna step down and then go in behind with that same curve. All right, now that we completed the head, let's work our way down the body. Underneath the chin in the center, we're gonna leave a gap, go over towards the left side. I'm gonna curve down, up, and then out underneath the head. Go to the right side and do the same thing. 
Let's move back to the left and draw the side of the body. Underneath the collar, curve out, around, and then in. Now we want to overlap the leg on top of the body. So from here we're going to step up, curve out the leg, and pull that back in. We're going to step in and down and draw that same curve. Now we're going to tuck the foot in behind the leg. Starting on the outside, we're going to curve down and then out. We're going to do a large curve going around the tip of the foot. Pull that up on the inside. I'm just going to pull this up and round out the heel in behind the leg. Go up and then around. Let's separate out the toes. Starting on the left, curve up and in. Step over, draw that same curve. Now I'm going to separate out the front of the foot. Starting on the outside, I'm just going to curve across and then down. Now let's move over towards the right side. We're going to draw that same curve, but we're not going to go all the way down. We're going to stop right about there. Now the right foot is going to overlap the leg, so we're going to have to draw this in first. So starting on the outside, curve down and in. Go back to the top. We're going to draw on the first toe. We're going to curl this around and then down. Step up, curve up. And then down the second toe. On the third toe, we're going to curve around and then down towards the heel. I just want to connect these two points with a curve. Going around the heel and back out. Let's separate out the front of the foot. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up and then down. And then we're going to add a patch on the bottom of the foot. Starting up here, curve across and then down. Now from the outside, we're going to follow the same curve of the foot. Coming down towards the bottom, we'll go to the inside of that same curve. Now we're going to connect these two points with the curve coming down and then up. Now we're going to draw the leg on top of the body but in behind the foot. So from the bottom of the body, we're going to step in, curve across, and then down in behind the foot. We're going to step down and draw that same curve. Now let's close off the bottom of the body. I'm going to continue this curve in behind the leg, curve down, and up in behind the right leg. Now I'm going to move back up and draw on the arms. Starting from the side of the collar, curve out, and then up. Let's go to the right, and do the same thing. Now I'm going to round out the hands, come down and in behind the body. So start back on the left side, I'm going to round this out, and come in. Now the arm's going to go thinner as we come in towards the body up and in. Now the right arm will probably go in behind the foot. Now we're going to continue on the inside and go up in behind the body. Let's separate out the fingers. Starting from the top, curve down and in. Step down and draw that same curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. And now the last thing we're going to do is add the tail over on the left side. Start from the side of the body, curve out, and then in behind the leg. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Score Bunny from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.